Sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Flying high, I emerge through the flames Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back Melanin, activate the name, the super black In the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Flying high, I emerge through the flames Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back Melanin, activate the name, the super black uh, Imagine that, a future that's super black Long as your skin brown, your superpowers intact what would your powers be? Just hope it ain't super whack. Spatial manipulation, create a portal that's black. Maybe just super speed, time travel to run it back. Or cheat manipulation to keep my spirit intact. As I encounter evils the world face, demons the world makes. I needed the world to stay. Rest in peace to Chad, which they killed all the Black Panthers. Told us white lies, I still marvel at black answers. Suits in DC, pray it lead to a civil war. It ain't no Justice League. What's the need to be civil for? Propel like the juggernaut, it's clear, ain't no stopping. This. The world in grave danger, who can stop the apocalypse? They killed all the heroes, the new ones don't really care But if you need me, put your fist up in the air Yeah, in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Flying high, I emerge through the flames Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back Melanin, activate the name, the super black In the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane 
flying high, I emerge through the flames. Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back. Melanin activate the name is Super Black. Hey everybody, it is another episode of Blurred's Eye View with your man on the wall, the man up north, Chris Fury. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for showing your support. And if it's your first time here, well, guess what? Head over to the YouTube channel, hit that notification button, hit that subscribe bell. You know all that great stuff. If you're watching this on Twitch, Blurred's Eye View 1, thank you once again. And on the Facebook page, so thank you for tuning in. Uh, before I get this going, I want to thank our sponsors so who's our sponsor well today our sponsor is da, 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 da. here we go fight the power how hip-hop changed the world which is now streaming hip-hop legend chuck d brings together the most iconic and pioneering struggle or figures in the game to unpack the history and impact of this art form on american and global culture over the last 50 years don't miss the fight the power hip hop how hip hop changed the world on PBS and now streaming on the PBS app. But guess what? You can get it here by just tapping into the show and responding with fight the power. You get a, a, a sign by Chuck D himself along with the digital code to watch the, the film that will stay up on the show, so you guys can watch all that great stuff. Uh, but let's get the team in here because you know what am I? What is a what is the captain without a squad? Huh? Let's get Lady Mandalore in the building. What's happening? Good evening. Hello. How are you? I do enjoy how you bring that energy. <laughs> We're going to behave tonight, people. <laughs> oh, not not tonight. Well, you know, it's, it, it, it. it all depends. Uh, <laughs> how far how far down in my wine glass are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pouty <laughs> Kira's in the building. Uh, we also have the cinematic assassin. We'll be watching. What's going on? I was listening to that hieroglyphics earlier. You know what I mean? I'm Yo, in my, I'm in my... If ah. you people have missed that episode, not only did he bless us with some bars, but you need to go follow that brother. Hieroglyphics, he, he's a dope brother, man. I know him very well. He's good people. And he's a fucking lyricist. And he will sell you a house. And bars. if you weren't looking for one, you're buying one based oh. off the bars alone. Oh, only the best guests on Bird's Eye View, ladies hey, and gentlemen. We, we do our best. Uh, we got the black fox of the square circle. Will be <laughs> W2. We were W2. 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 Oh, W2. W2. Again, I, I, feel, I, feel, I, feel like and, I feel like I feel like me and Will need to, need to borrow Carol's lightsabers and just go ahead and get this high ground battle set out. <laughs> Why you gotta borrow mine? Get your own. What you mean? I'm no, I'm gonna call you Obi once. Obi Trice. Obi Trice. Obi Trice. Obi Trice. Obi Trice. Sorry. Oh I don't share. God. I'm an only child. I ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's an only child, gang. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so we have a special guest in the building. Our guest for tonight is Brandon Calloway. He is the creator, owner, and proprietor of Blur TV. What's hey. going on, Brandon? Hey, hey what's up? Hey. We're going to be talking about his platform and what it means to be a blurred and all the blurred content that's going to be coming to his station and current network that's on YouTube. So, but before we get into that, man, how was everybody's couple of days? I just say it's been lovely. <laughs> it's been lovely. I have not gone to my job. I have slept in. Oh, well, that, 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 that'll do it. That's it's been nice. lovely. And not to see them goddamn people at my office. I can't tell you. Yes, what up, yes. Joe? Yes, Jesus be a day off. <laughs> three, three days day off. off. Three. Ooh, I got one more to go. Off. That's a dream. Ooh, Ooh, that, won't he do it? If that is not prepare the others. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I've been I've been in my I've been in my uh, Wakanda Forever mode since it's on Disney Plus now. Yes, I already have the Blu-ray, but you know mm -hmm. that's for the but that's for the special features. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm just thinking because it was someone had a they put a post up on TikTok. I shared it on IG, and I think it's one of the Disney crews, like the Marvel cruises that they have, mm -hmm. and they're oh. they have their actors dressed as the characters and. These particular two characters was dressed as Shiri and T'Challa, and there was this whole. And T'Challa came from the multiverse. He was a multiverse T'Challa, so he was just like, she's, you know, Shiri said, "I missed you. I missed you." He's like, "I've always been right here," and he did the salute, and I'm like, mm. right in the fields. Get, oh. get, get the damn onions out the room, please. Oh. <laughs> that's that's that. Emotions. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> that's what we're really wanting to see is the team up of the siblings. We, we, yeah. That's what we really want to see, you know. So I was just like, if I gotta if I gotta deal with this pain, all of you do. <laughs> hey, it was what it is. Uh, other than that, man, it's it's just been a thing. Uh, Netflix is talking about their password sharing crackdown. Good luck. Uh, <laughs> like how? How? Hello, hello VPN. Enforce that. And on top of the, aside from the VPN, how are you going to tell me I can't if I'm going to somebody else's place and I want to use my password that I can't use my password there? Okay. Well, here's the thing. Here's here's the catch. They say. Every 31 days, you would have to read, you would have to sign back in onto your regular Wi Fi uh, signal. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I know, to, I'm going to be home. They're trying, to, they're, they're trying to do IP tracing. That's not going to end very well. No. It's <laughs> not going to end well. No, it's not. So before we get into it, before we get into it with our guests, we're going to talk about a little bit of blur nose. So, for those who don't know, James Gunn dropped Napalm mm -hmm. <laughs> the other day, mm -hmm. uh, and ever since then, it's just been scorching the earth of everything else. Uh, <laughs> so, he it's just been announced that James Mangold, who we best known for Logan, will mm -hmm. be helming the Swamp Thing movie. I'm behind this. Uh, I loved Logan. Mm-hmm. It's a great send off and a great western, and the movie's just good. It's just well written without having too much filler or attachment. I don't know what do you guys think. I I I welcome it. I think he's a great director. I need writing. I it's great that you can sh whoever gives him the script to shoot is who I'm more concerned about. Here's the funny thing: when James Gunn dropped his his bomb. Uh, his, his Hiroshima when he dropped his Hiroshima uh, he literally said in that in that speech storytelling is king yeah yeah so yeah. He, he 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 understood he heard our he heard our prayers yeah he heard our, our cries Please. our anguish Please. he heard it he heard he heard our complaints so now Mangold is a great director I like I said I agree with you, Chris Logan was a great uh great telling of old man Logan story so uh he, I mean, he can do well with Swamp Thing. I mean, writing wise, I don't see a problem with Swamp Thing. There are plenty of story. There is plenty of arcs. There's so many ways you can go with it. It's kind of hard to mess that up. Yeah. yeah. I want to know the writing. I mean, not the writing. I want to know the rating. Oh. Because are, are we getting a hard R horror movie? Yes. As part should. of this first yeah, phase. We, of should. we should. Mm. We should. What do you think, Brandon? Swamp, tell Swamp Thing like it is, it has to be a hard R. Right. What do you think, Brandon? Uh, I mean, I, I, I agree. I definitely think Logan, Logan was one of the uh, the you know top tier X Men movies. Um, I, I don't know, I'm I'm, I'm kind of holding my breath for the for the for the whole thing. I I, uh, I, can't, like, I know I, why I know where the I know I I, I know where that, that he, that he announced. <laughs> um, like it has the potential to be amazing. You know, mm -hmm. if done right, uh, and I, I, I don't know. I want to believe that this time uh, DC is going to be consistent. Uh, this ain't. This is not the first time that we got a whole slate of, you know, oh, oh, over the next, you know, five years, we, we <laughs> dropping this and this and this and this, uh, and then all of a sudden everybody else gone, and now, it, it, so <laughs> it's it sounds great. It's, it, it 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 sounds great and something in there for everybody, especially if they it if they do come with a rated R Swamp Thing movie, uh, and then you know the the uh, I imagine they Superman Legacy gonna be real family friendly. I just, mm -hmm. it, it, it sounds great. It sounds great. I oh, you know what and I, I get where some of your because I'm the same way. I got where some of your hesitation came from because we have been lit down. Mm -hmm. We have been lit down more than Damn. once, <laughs> and and I loved how he got in. One thing I will say about James Gunn, he will get in front of something, mm -hmm. and he even though they have a slate for eight to ten years, he gave us a slate that's long enough. He says this is was he didn't give slated except for that first wave of things. He 
he pretty much just gave this is the stuff that's coming out. We know about the DCEU stuff that's that's coming out. They're getting that on the table and getting it out the way. Mm -hmm. And then we know about the Joker too. We know about Batman part two. We know about those. Those are coming. But his particular slate, this is going, this is going. We're working on this right now. <laughs> it was like, and so he's he's in front of it. And I, I appreciate that. And he also, the man who has seems to come to fix it all, James Gunn, has also spoken with uh Gal Gadot recently. And he's actually said that he never said that she got the boot. They just shelved the plans for Wonder Woman 3. Mm -hmm. My thought is with this uh, uh, Themyscira series that he has planned, I'm thinking she's going to have some ties. There's, there hasn't been anything saying that she's gone. True. There's just not going to be a Wonder Woman 3. Even if she, even if she is gone, uh, I mean, the, the, that series is the perfect time to either, uh, like, um, reestablish somebody else as what, like, as Wonder Woman, or to bring her back, like, just to an answer, to answer that question, because it's a big kind of get things uh, in. in right. the you know, they doing something you know? with Superman. They doing something with Batman. Uh, this Themyscira series doesn't necessarily doesn't doesn't necessarily say that they doing something. With Wonder Woman, but kind of implies it. So that's yeah. the fact that they're he's spoken to a couple of weeks ago is telling me like, okay, they have they're keeping her around, just mm -hmm. in what capacity, you know? Because yeah. there's no there's no Wonder Woman movie on slate. Mm, true. What we what we shown to us, there's nothing there. Well, they can't put a Wonder Woman movie up because they're resetting the entire universe. Exactly. Yeah. They can't. So um, he... maybe and may mm, what they could do is have the reset done, put in this, put in the the island of famous Garrett thing, and then have somebody come in and change her the course of history there. Yeah. Or they or they could just run with the trolley Amazon story. That I love, I'm not gonna lie, don't know it. <laughs> the, I mean oh, no. the I mean the trial Amazon story I think would work because number one it does bring Wonder Woman eventually into the story but it focuses on the three different tribes and it actually focuses on the uh, the actual contest but yeah. there is a slight problem because you have to explain Doom mm. you can't really explain Doom until you actually get to that part so that's the only caveat of that yeah that's true or or. James Gunn was just being nosy and wanted to know how she comes back in Fast and Furious. <laughs> well, you're dead. Get off! Get off the internet! Get off the internet right now! Just stop. I never saw a body. Oh I my god! A body <laughs> we never saw a body. So speaking of resets, <laughs> boo! Yeah, and we saw here's the thing. Stop. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here, here's the thing about the Flash film. Prior to all the garbage we were hearing that Ezra Miller was involved in, yeah, mm -hmm. it was already kind of on the table that this would be some kind of flashpoint, some kind of reset. Mm -hmm. That writing was on the wall for that already. That never changed. I think what that was changed is how they were going to go forward with said reset. Mm -hmm. I don't doubt that the film is good enough to do a reset. Because what they were putting in, let's face it, we were all here for Michael Keaton's Batman anyway. Of course. <laughs> that was the draw. Yeah. It was just like, yo, that's that's Michael Keaton's Batmobile. That's mm -hmm. I'm I'm wanted, here for that. I wanted to relive my childhood a little bit. Yeah, so I'm like <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's give me eighty nine Batmobile. I'm good with that. Yeah, let's walk, <laughs> let's walk that, let's walk down that aisle. I, I'm mm -hmm. I'm for that, you know. Mm -hmm. And we spoke about it Tuesday. This seems to be the necessary evil, not because of money, even though that would be one of the reasons for the studio, mm -hmm. but in order to just kind of wipe the slate clean, it was like this this was the movie that was going to wipe the slate clean. We have right. to we have to wipe the slate clean. It's like we in and, and and gun said it himself. He was like the DCEU was shit. 
Those are his words. It was yeah. shit. But it there, was is one, there is one. There is one. He says about it this though. <laughs> if you really think about it, they could be saying the one thing that by reset by using the flashpoint paradox to reset everything. What if Ezra Miller starts at the beginning of this movie and we get a different flash at the end? Are you I saying great? Are you saying, thing to do. Yeah. I'm not saying any names because number one, I'm not getting my hopes up. But Don't do it. I'm not saying any names. I won't say any names because I, I would because we we talked about that as far as different replacements for the Flash. But I think he's saying he's real quiet. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. He's just real quiet. That's it. I'm, just, I'm saying that <laughs> it would work out because number one, we already know the mess that comes with the person who shall not be named. Uh, who Voldemort? But at the same time, <laughs> you actually. <laughs> 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 He it was there. You set it point. up. I knocked it down. It was there. <laughs> it was. Hey, sometimes you got to volleyball it. But um, <laughs> but no, I think that would actually work, though, because I thought about that. I said, what if it was a different flash at the end of it to where it's like, OK, we have officially wiped out the Snyderverse. Could it work? It could work. Mm-hmm. Please, just please. That's I mean, my that's favorite the character. Old, that's just... the only option. Yeah, because I, I mean, mean there's, I mean, they, work. I mean, the 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 people that be over the person who shall not be named decide to make their mark with it. But at the same time, if we're really going by flashpoint paradox to where everything resets, Flash also could reset. Yeah, problem is solved. It would yeah. also be a shame to move forward just without the Flash because mm-hmm. you know of of like this person's. Uh, mm-hmm. He's oh, part of that. He's part of their. He's part of the status quo right. for it. Just maybe right. not that person. Yeah, that person is not a part of the. He was like, oh yeah, the Flash is part of the thing going forward. Just not that that person. <laughs> you know, we're not, not the first moving Flash. forward with that one. You know, that's that's <laughs> that's my favorite character. So like, this has been a a especially tortured time for me. <laughs> Like I, I pretty much thought the the movie's going to be garbage, and then like Keaton got involved, I was like, all right, I'm hyping in. And then mm-hmm. Ezra started like just beating people up in Hawaii for no reason. I'm like, oh my god, they're not going to release this thing. Mm-hmm. And now fast forward all the way to what yesterday, and uh, Gun is just like the the movie's amazing. I was like, hmm, I really what? don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> you know what? That's, See, that's right. it. But hey, Gun, because like, knowing what's attached to it, that's what it is. <laughs> it's like knowing. But Gun, but Gun is known for throwing. But Gun is known for throwing curveballs, though. He'll sit yeah. there and put something out there. And yeah. let's be honest, if we if we go back, we didn't expect to see what happened at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. We expected something bad to happen. Mm-hmm. We didn't expect Yondu. No yeah. one expected Yondu to die. We didn't expect the holiday special uh, tease. And look right. what we got. So, Listen, so, ima- we- so imagine, yeah. So I, so to, 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 to other Will's point, this is gonna be weird. <laughs> to other Will's point, <laughs> other wheels. I'm gonna just change my name to something else. But the other <laughs> point, though, Theodore. no, it's just, it's just saying that Gunn can sit there and say that the movie is great, but he's like, it, it's almost like, wait till the end, you'll be happy. Mm-hmm. He's like, he's, he's, he's saying it's like to me. That, like that's what it's. Like, that's what it does saying. sound like. Just that it does sound like your water. That. Just hold your, just hold your water. And he, no, and no, even... no, he has not disappointed. He has literally not disappointed mm-hmm. anybody yet. Mm-hmm. And yeah. even with his shitty, pardon, even with his bad movies, it it's they're still like cult. There's a cult following behind yeah. Slither. Like they're still good. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> hi. Yeah. yeah, nobody will admit. Nobody wants to talk about it, but everybody knows about it. So you know, I love, I love that. I love the film because okay. I love Nathan Philly, and I'm like, it's I a great film. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, I just want them to get to the end of the film. Uh, Ezra gets absorbed by the Speed Force or something, and then we think he's dead. And then as as he's as we're boring. you know panning over some some cityscape. Mm-hmm. And we just hear out of out of off screen. My name is Barry Allen, oh, and God. it's Grant's voice. <laughs> oh, you know what he Listen, said? It. I'm going to stand up and hit a backflip in the theater. I'm going to <laughs> train now so that, that when the day comes, I am not a liar. You know what? You might bionic mark, knees with my well, bionic well, knees. Yes. Well, you might as well mark. You might as well mark this down as a day in history. So when we watch the Flash movie, and if that happens at the end, you better have an IG video you know saying, what? "I told you." <laughs> I need you to know something because because I told you because seasons not season nine drops mm-hmm. this month mm-hmm. of, of the Flash. 
it's not even a full season. When does the movie Flash drop? March, I think. Uh, no, 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 don't quote me on that. I got, I think it got pushed back because they didn't want yeah, to go ahead with Disney. It got pushed back. Which one, the movie or the, the season? The movie, the, the movie. movie, the movie got pushed back because I'm they didn't want to head to head with Disney. And because season I'm, nine, if Grant disappears, I'm putting it on the board. I'm, take, <laughs> I'm taking uh, all bets. It's June 16th. There you go. June's, that's when it drops. Damn, yeah, because I think Disney was coming out with Elemental, and the the people at DC were like, "No, nah, we ain't going head to head with Mouse. Will, I <laughs> we're think not, you're we're right. not going head to head with Mickey. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna have to ride Mickey. with Will on this one because the timing works. Mm-hmm. Because they only have nine episodes, so it's just in time for May sweeps. They'll be done. True. Oh shit. Just, don't do it. Stop doing the math, man. Don't do the math. You won't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up. Real good move for DC if they did it. That would be. Really My name is Barry Allen. Fade to black. No. Oh God. You don't even so get to see her. All you see no, is no, it's so corny you now. Don't you get to see that. the one. You get to see the one boot. I don't the one care. Boot come in, and all of a sudden you hear, "My name is Barry Allen." Fade to black. No, I'll throw my drink at the at the whole screen. I do not need to hear that. <laughs> Why you like absolutely not? Like I don't mind him being in it, but I really don't need that cornball shit. I really do not. Oh, we're gonna get it. No, I mean he did say people from the live actions in the are game. supposed he's, to be. He is. He is. I, continuity. I believe it is a high probability that is a thing that will happen. Please don't say that line. <laughs> they'll say that line for they'll the simple fact line? of the voice. That's why they'll say yeah. that line. Yeah. They'll, they'll say that, that line. line for the voice alone. I mean, if you don't blame somebody, yeah. blame CW. They they made everybody say it except Black Lightning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was like, <laughs> I'm thinking of Green Arrow now. I was like, yeah, Green Arrow, like, Flash. I mean, they say Flash, the Legends. Oh, it didn't yeah. say Legends names, but let's be honest, that was a in- weird intro, but let's but that <laughs> it's all, CW. The, the Legends was just weird to be, just because. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The legends, the legends walked so Doom Doom Patrol could run. That's what happened. So <laughs> y'all don't know how bad y'all got it, man. <laughs> oh God, there's there's so many more better ways that they could be doing this. We, we have, those we, we those have... TV shows were good, but they they weren't like it was like beating a dead horse after a while, and then Legend, shooting it. Yeah, Legends was probably the, and I'll admit to that, Legends because after a while, like after I guess after your season five, you kind of. Yeah, it goes downhill. And with the exception of Flash, they're really they they stumbled a little bit, but they really faltered because of COVID. So that that whole season was uh, Flash kind of went downhill after season four. The the Flash lost me a little bit. Every single season, it was just it was a it was a new speedster, a new speedster, a new speedster, like. You fast you though, right? Every season, when I'm the fastest man alive. Then all of a sudden, every single season, so, you know, somebody just a little bit faster than you. And then it's, yeah. it's always the mentor that you meet at the beginning of the season turns out to be mm-hmm. like, like it. Uh, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> continue. The, the, the mentor was eventually became the, 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 the enemy. <laughs> the mentor and the enemy, all right. It, I, it, trained, it, 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 I trained you, Barry. I, <laughs> what you do. I told you to Barry. run fast, Barry. <laughs> and it's like, Barry, come on, man, learn your lesson. Like this new dude, like the new dude that just came in your life, at the same time that this new villain just came in your life, kicking your ass. Like it's like the fourth time this happened to you, Barry. <laughs> He's a glutton for punishment. That's what it is. He is too trusting. I'll say this: out of the entire series, I give it a zoom. Zoom never changed up exactly what he was doing. He he was the first person that pulled up at your spot, told you what he was going to do, and then did it. And then you still mad about it. I took your life. Baby. He was the only one. I'm like, damn, he did take your life. Yeah. Figure that one out. <laughs> I, took your, I took your woman. I took your speed. You are nothing to me. I'm like, dang. And you watched him do it. <laughs> in slow, in technically slow motion. Right. Mm. Damn. Mm. So it, it's. I, I I'm I'm with you, Will. It's it's going to be interesting to see what happens, if anything. And I think this movie's release will create the buzz of what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's beyond it's beyond seeing Michael Keaton, Keaton in the bat suit again. Hell, it's it's beyond seeing Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck face off. You know, it, no no one really cares about the rest. They just want to see. 
Hmm. I want to see how this ends. Yeah. To see, to see versions of Batman fight, look at each other. Yeah. <laughs> if him and Thomas Wayne and, and Batman 89 all looked at each other and was like, this is awkward. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that Justice League Unlimited episode. <laughs> it was like the old bat, old Bruce and, and young Bruce just kind of facing off. Interesting. It's like I thought I thought I look older. You are older. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How do you burn yourself? Easy. Uh, so so there's that. Um, How y'all feel about him bringing in Damian Wayne? I'm yes, for it. Please. Yeah, I'm like, for it. I can't, there was an actor. I can't remember this young kid's name. I've seen him and stuff before. But when they showed his picture, I'm like, yeah. Because it was another movie I seen this kid in. He has this tough kid kind of edge to him. Yeah. You know? Was it, in, was it the Netflix movie the with um, Ryan Reynolds? Is that the no, thing? not no, not Adam, not Adam, not the Walker Adam project, Scott. not the Adam project. It's this other. I'm trying to, was that was he was he the bully? I think he was the bully. I got to see the Adam project again. Um, <laughs> but I know I've seen that kid. I've seen that kid and stuff. Now, Damian Wayne, Damian Wayne's story is interesting, and the fact they're going with this as a Brave and the Bold, I can get behind that though. I could. It's yeah, yeah. It's gonna be different. Although I was kind of hoping Gunn didn't start with Batman, and Batman is my favorite character of all time. But I'm like, you've ran him into the ground. There are several other DC heroes you can choose from. Look, I love Batman, but they haven't jumped the shark yet. Until he falls Mm -hmm. from the Watchtower and makes it to the stratosphere (laughs) with no suit. Yes. That was writers at DC. I'm gonna hold you know that that's 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 prep time, prep time and plot armor. I I swear (laughs) to god, I I guarantee you, Clark was sitting up here in space just holding his breath, watching him like this son of a bitch. But the funny funny part is but you know he's sitting there saying, but he survived, he's Batman. (laughs) (laughs) The the, the, the end all explanation, he's Batman. (laughs) (laughs) It's like like, I, I keep looking at that that issue and I'm just like how? How did we get here? <laughs> I'm mad, you know what? I'm mad Batman. that they gave it a Star Trek explanation. They gave the whole scientific explanation up while he's doing. I'm like, you okay? You didn't really have to go that far as explaining atmospheric pressure and oxygen, <laughs> oxygen and blood oxygen saturation. I'm like, what person will read this and go, no, that can't happen? They pulled life. a Fonzie. <laughs> <laughs> They literally jumped the shark. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and as I told you earlier in other news, I, and and I told you earlier, Kira, this was something I knew you would love. But our girl is still working. Misha Green is yeah. writing another project. Mm-hmm. She's actually mm-hmm. doing a mm-hmm. directorial mm-hmm. debut, and her mm-hmm. mm-hmm. project project is called Sun in Sunflower. It's about two women who struggle to escape from a deranged college professor who holds them hostage on a remote sunflower farm. And she's teaming back up with her underground mm. and love crowd country cohort, Journey Smollett. Mm-hmm. Yes, Jesus. Winning. <laughs> Black girl winning. That's Black girl winning. Yes, yes, Black yes. girl winning. I I'm love it. it. I love it. I I follow Misha Green's Twitter and her IG, and I'm like, I found that out from her before Deadline shot it. I'm like, mm. yeah, you don't understand. Mm. I seen this news already. <laughs> I was waiting for this. Do you think that she's gonna use elements from that? I don't know if she can use it. Elements from that second, that second season of season. Lovecraft. Yes, she can. She probably could. As long as hey, look, you can use you can use historical references because historical references are not IP protected. So she mm-hmm. can go with that. Now, as far as what she had planned for the second season, like the mystical and the supernatural and all, yeah, yeah, yeah that stuff probably not. But yeah. uh, because she, I, ooh. just just if give she, just give us told, another just give us another heartwarming history lesson about the dark side of America. HBO probably throw it out. <laughs> also, known as history. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> just, just go ahead. Just she'll, go ahead. And just drop those nuggets in the movie. That's all I ask. It's just like take that, Florida and Texas. Look, I'm still teaching it. <laughs> Y'all gonna ban TV? You can't ban TV. That's what you keep your kids occupied with. <laughs> looking forward. To, I'm actually looking forward to it. She does fantastic work. I've watched Underground and you know, Kira, me and Kira love Lovecraft Country. Mm-hmm. It's like the season. <laughs> 
had us walking around proud, proud, like proud, proud. Like y'all ain't y'all. Hey, y'all, y'all want to feel bad this week? Go watch Lovecraft Country. <laughs> Just I feel great. <laughs> let, let me great. let me go find Not a ever. spot where a conservative news station is playing. Let me just find that and change it and walk out. <laughs> Eat that, Jason Whitlock. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Journey Smollett and more things. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Throwing she, it out she, there. Yes. She can act. She's a fantastic that. actor, exactly. Yeah, she yeah. can definitely yeah. act. Singer. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I forgot she can sing. That's bad. Fine. Yeah, fine. I forgot she can sing. Yeah. Was that her singing as Black that was, Mary? Yeah, that was her oh, actually yeah, singing. Her. I got, I need That to. was the shocking point from, that was the shock, the awe, and the interesting point of the Harley Quinn movie for me. <laughs> it was just like, mm-hmm. Oh, the sister can blow too. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. She was she was <laughs> seeing she was singing in Birds of Prey. You're right. Yep. That was actually her too. Yep. I need some I need proof. <laughs> really, Kara, you don't find that suspicious. I'm not gonna don't, don't, don't don't be this way, Kara. I believe she's great in many things. I just want to see proof. I mean, hey, anytime you are, are she's, I can see. honestly say <laughs> out of because she's a she's a child actress. She was a child actress, yes. mm-hmm. and she's one of the ones that has consistently. Yeah, no, she is. She is. Yeah. She is. She that that I will not take away from her. Yeah, she. Mm-hmm. So to to see her now, especially in Lovecraft Country, especially the horror scene, the uh, the haunted house episode that one of my favorites. Ooh. Wow, <laughs> the haunted house episode that and when they house. were that in the diner scene, the first episode when she's running. Woods. Oh, the diner scene. <laughs> the diner scene. <laughs> diner scene the, was lesson, <laughs> the diner scene was a lesson in black people fire exit safety. <laughs> when no one runs, time. you all run. That's it. <laughs> you don't ask no questions. Questions <laughs> like, and you see, it was a it was a total lesson. Mm-hmm. She said. We need to get the fuck out of here. She said it as she was running. And what did they do? They, they got, got up and went out the door with her. Like, the only thing they fussed about was like, right. who's driving? Like, I'm driving. As you, that's why I was telling that's why I was telling some people when they watch. I'm like, that was black people fire exit safety course. It's only it only takes five minutes, and you'll figure out exactly what to do. That episode was black fire. That was uh uh fire safety course mm-hmm. and horror movie uh etiquette. Keep when running high. in the woods at night. You stride, you breathe, hands up, track stop. Exactly. That was, that knees, was high, that knees high, baby. Knees high. Knees <laughs> high. You pray and go. And go. <laughs> That's just what she did. <laughs> she had that. That was, that was the first time I saw Lovecraft Monster get winded. <laughs> <laughs> was that the only one that sat there? No, yeah, I was just like, I'm like, she outran the monster. Oh, oh the mon- black yeah. girls winning. I was like, I, I hate to be that guy, but go back and watch that scene where they have a run in a split second. You'll see the you'll see the monster behind her just stop for a second, like he's gaffing wind. I said, I think this monster realized it was right after. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to rethink this. I was like, oh my god, I got food so- at the house. <laughs> You know, as we know, it's it's February, it's Black History Month, but here on Birds Eye View is Black History every day. So why everybody is talking about Mandela, Martin Luther King, and Malcolm X, let's Shut not up. forget Black Jesus. Uh, <laughs> y'all Negroes uh, need to stop immediately. That's gonna be on, that's gonna y'all be on better church. stop. That'll be in every church fan every Sunday. Just pay, every just Sunday. my Lord and Savior. Just pay, just fan. Sure just, this is why you watch the show live, and then oh. you go listen to it because you need to get it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> right, right next to have you don't before you scroll, click like, click like to be blessed by. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. Would you like your blessing, my son? <laughs> If you don't, uh, share, if you don't share this picture of Black Jesus, you will not be blessed this week. <laughs> Just... Oh my God! Oh, Kang's favorite song is is uh, Kirk Franklin's "Stomp." Oh, <laughs> hey. I'm just, I'm sorry. I thought about the Ant Man trailer. Just what he said. <laughs> Just, I'm here every know? Thursday and Tuesday, folks. All right, there we go. <laughs> nice oh, oh my no, god. No. So before we talk to our guest Brandon Calloway, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. <laughs> this just in. Feeling groggy in the morning? Coffee just can't give you that pep in the step that you're looking for. Try Pop Starts for that great get up and go that adults need. Pop Starts has the vitamin and nutrients that only grown ups can partake in, and with flavors such as Tossed salad and scrambled eggs, and Jack Daniels and Bud Light flavors to start your day or end it. There's nothing better to wake up to unless you count that depressing cubicle job. 
Well, anyway, try Pop Starts today. Pop Starts is not part of the Kellogg's Corporation. Pop Starts could give you diarrhea. Pop Starts are not found in your local grocery store. Ah! Right. <laughs> oh, you had enough apothecary here? Not yet? Good. Uh <laughs> you, you drink it. You drink it. I did get up and refresh my drink just a little. Oh, <laughs> so we have our guest with us tonight. I'm gonna put him up here so we can all see him. There we go. Mm-hmm. And we have our guest today. His name is Brandon Calloway. He is the owner and creator of Blur TV. Let's talk about this because I like this concept, and I know currently you have the YouTube channel, right? Right. So let's talk about Blur TV. What's it? What's it about? What's it contain for the people who are listening and watching? Yeah, man. So Blur TV is, uh, you know. The tagline is for black nerds, by black nerds. Uh, and so starting with a YouTube channel. Uh, so I, I also have a, uh, you know, I create have a comic book publishing company called Dark Moon Comics. And so on Blurry TV, like when I launched it, I took, you know, the motion comics that I already had for uh, Dark Moon. And then I, uh, I put I put it on Blurry TV. And so it's just, it's right now it's motion comics. It's some, um, you know, uh, debate, so anime, Marvel, DC, debate, talk shows and stuff like that. Uh, there's some gaming content. We partner with Open Gate Studios, so we got a, we got some live action stuff on there. And then we in talks with a few more, a few more people to get some more live action stuff on there. And so the idea, uh, it's, Blur City is super new. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are one month old. And... Oh. Oh, yeah. new, new. <laughs> we, we're one month old. Uh, we just hit 24,000 Facebook followers, and then we're at 2,000 and like 2,300, 2,400 uh YouTube subscribers, and so it's growing real, real fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it came from you know, like, like I said, I, I got my own comic company, Dark Moon Comics. Uh, what am I? In? I'm at five, six books published uh, now, and then uh, like I know all of the all those other indie creator guys, right? Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. Concrete Comics and you know Wingless and uh, you know, shout out to uh, Malachi and the crew over there. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. exactly. I, I, talk, uh, I I got a podcast and I, I had a you know David Crownson has been on there. It, it just uh, like. All the all the other people in this indie, like specifically the black indie comic space, uh, and I'm like, we all doing it for the same reason. Mm-hmm. Like we we want to we want to see authentic black characters uh, created and, and that really represent you know black people. Right. Um, and we the the people that are coming to us, the people that's buying all the stuff, like buy, you know buying my books and their books, uh, they not. You know, they're not coming because they are cult fans of Dark Moon Comics. They come in because they, you know, this is the type of stuff that they 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 want to consume, uh, and they want like you know they want to get it from all all of us. Right. And so, uh, Blur TV is a way. I launched it as a way, like you know, the 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 fans the fans the readers want this kind of uh, content, and so instead of having it all scattered like. You know, let's create this platform where where we're able to bring it all in, uh, and, and so the readers can come to you know one central location and you know and, and check check everything out, um, and then just bringing in all kinds of just blurred content. So I got gaming on there. So you got me streaming Elden Ring. Uh, we, we you know we're gonna be streaming the Hogwarts Legacy when that when that comes out. Uh, and, and so, so yeah, just really bring bringing all this blurred content into uh, one one central location. Uh, our, the goal is that once the audience gets big enough, we'll launch a crowd crowdfunding campaign. Uh, and we we're about we're twenty five thousand dollars away from building the apps. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll launch a crowdfunding campaign for that last twenty five. Get the app live, and then we'll move from a free service on YouTube. We'll still keep some stuff on YouTube uh, to a actual paid subscription service. And so, working with some animation studios also, 
uh to get some some uh uh original animes produced uh and then you're working i'm, I'm working with another so uh, another indie black comic publisher to get some of their uh their stuff done as live action mm-hmm. so it's a uh, the goal is it's gonna be this own this whole big thing we're gonna rival netflix uh it's gonna be a, a, a centralized hub for uh black nerd content this is what I enjoy about something like this is because, as you see on this platform, we push a lot of black content, you know, a lot of blur content, a lot of POC creatives out in the space that do not get recognized. And it's it's just refreshing to know that, you know, when I stumbled across it, uh, do you plan? That's well, me. go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> like, go ahead. No, 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 no. Well, okay, so well, I want you to do it. Go ahead. It's your question. Um, um, I have a question. I, I'm jumping in because I've got to leave in like literally like two minutes. Um, oh. but Chris is nice enough to let me ask my question before I go. Um, I'm, feeling you... I'm not an ass. There's... No, <laughs> on, like there's a you, you're... Oh. do go you ahead. plan? <laughs> do you plan on moving your content from? Uh, I want to say digital from like the digital world or digital hub to actually having a physical um, building network. Uh, probably not anytime soon because a building would cost too much money. <laughs> and the and so as long as we can do everything remotely, then we we I would continue to do that. Uh, but so so yeah, probably 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 not because the the money that we raise. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I probably know animation is expensive. Yeah. <laughs> As somebody yeah. that wants to own an animation studio someday, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, <laughs> several, several uh, zeros, several zeros. Yes, right, right. And so, so the money that we raise is, is uh, you know, the the first thing is we se- secure the secure the platform, so secure the apps, and so you uh, it the app will be available in five different places. So iOS, Android, uh, Roku TV, Apple TV. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forget what the fifth one is. Phipps, Phillips, or something like that, or or somebody uh, LG or something like that. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh fi- no, fire, fire, fire. fire. Yeah, oh, fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so so that that's that's where the that's the first part of the of the money is just uh, getting those get, getting those apps. <laughs> And then, and so once people are able to download them and, and su- subscribe, we are, uh, you know, we, we, one need to purchase some content to put onto the, the, uh, the channel. And so I'm excited at being able to go to other black creators and purchase their stuff to be able to, to throw on to blur TV and then, uh, and then using that money for internal production of, uh, some live action stuff and some animation. Uh, and so, so not having a building frees up capital to make sure that we can continue to focus on that. Yeah, I'm with it. Baby steps. Ooh. I just, just I'm here to learn, and you have not mm. much, sir. Look, <laughs> you and me both, because you know that's one of the things I've often looked at is is you know taking the platform, getting the physical space. Problem is, you know, it's money. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> costs money. And, you know, unless I want to live there, I'm like, I ain't have my wife kick me. Out. Uh, so knowing, see you, Kira. I'm going to see uh, you guys later. Have a good night. It's nice to see you, Brandon. I'm going to watch the rest of the show later. <laughs> no. Bye, so knowing, you, knowing that you have something like this for this this kind of platform and, and you already in conjunction, working hand in hand with a lot of other POC creative sets and feel like indie comics, like you mentioned, concrete comics. Uh, I know I've heard of Dark Moon. I've, I've heard it dark dark moves cross my my, my lap somewhere uh <laughs> so like it, and it's probably been through ig so let's talk about dark moon dark moon comics yeah yeah so uh i started dark moon back in 2020 and so i started it uh with my flagship titles black spartans and so it's a uh you know <laughs> i'm a huge i'm 
I'm anime inspired more than I am like Marvel or DC. <laughs> and, and okay. Stuff. And so there's nothing uh, wrong with that. No, <laughs> yeah, my, we we here for that. Yeah, but what I'm what I'm getting at is my my number one is One Piece. Uh, so, <laughs> you, you, you're a good company. Yeah. You're a good company. So very, uh, very good company. Black very good Spars, company. Very good company. Stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, very good company. That's what's up. So right, like right there, by, you know, my see there it is. So you know what it is. <laughs> there it is. So one piece there. Right see there it is. Yeah, you know what it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's real. So, it's real out here. Yeah, mm-hmm. black black Spartans is uh, it's war. It's monsters, demons, mythical creatures, and these group of people called hunters. Uh, and so Balbino is starting his own hunter guild, and he's going from you know town to town to town, and they get paid to. You know, get rid of whatever mythical creatures bugging that town that day. Mm-hmm. And so he's on a journey to build the strongest hunter guild, you know, of, of, of all time. And then um, the the Oni are being wiped out by the hunters. Um, and the like in this world, like the powers kind of came together at the same time. The Oni came in existence at the same time the humans came in existence. They just happened to win the war. And so, mm-hmm. uh, the the leader of the Oni is he, you know he's seen as the villain, but really he's just he trying to save all of his people from being eradicated, uh, and so they they eventually cross paths. That becomes a whole big thing, uh, and on you know being on his journey, he meets meets a bunch of people, uh, gets a bigger hunter guild, uh, and, and all of that. So it's a large journey centric. Uh, spent a whole lot of time on, on world building. For that, hmm. before we you, you had me at Black Spartan, so I was like, yeah. <laughs> "You had me at Black Spartan." What's our Black Spartan? I'm like, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm slick over here on the Dark Moon's website. I was like, I, I dig that. I dig that art style. I yeah. dig that. Yeah. that works. Mm-hmm. So we, we're four chapters in on mm-hmm. uh, on Black Spartan. So I got one, two, and three are already out and published, and you know, it, like they here in the house, and you know, so mm-hmm. people order them. I, I ship them out myself. Um, and, and so 2020, I wrote the first Black Spartan script. Actually, I wrote the first six before I even published one. That way, I can make sure my stuff made sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, so, so I wrote the the first six chapters of Black Spartans. Uh, we printed the first one in like what, March of 2021, and, and then did uh, number two and all of that. And then I said, you know, I'm streaming Elden Ring. I'm a huge From Software fan. So Dark Ooh. Souls, Bloodborne, so all of you're that. Probably, yeah, you're 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 with the you're, difficult you're, RPGs. You're, I get you. Yeah, <laughs> you're, among, you're amongst good company here. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, I wanted to create one where I wanted to create a story where a guy gets sucked in. To, so it's a isekai, uh, mm-hmm. but where a guy gets sucked into like one of those kind of video games. Uh, and so, yeah, I created Reign of Chaos. Uh, so literally do get sucked into video game world uh turns out to be one of those like super punishing and mm-hmm. like, he's just dying over and over and over again and the only way for him to get out is to, to suck it up and play through uh and so mm-hmm. rain and chaos number one is already published um i had i switched up the artists and from number one to number two so rain and chaos number two is uh that's what that one's live on kickstarter right now mm-hmm. okay uh, and then I got a little mini series going that's also a part of that Kickstarter uh, called Knights of Olympus. So Knights of Olympus is it's a of the eight pager, uh, and so that one is you know the 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 United States government they find Mount Olympus and they find the Darwin Stone and they want to evolve humanity to create super soldiers, mm-hmm. uh, but they mess up. And mm-hmm. when they activate the Darwin Stone, everything else starts to evolve except for humanity. So, like the uh, this little, <laughs> you know, the this little a kid's lizard uh, grows into this big old like monster lizard and, and just <laughs> eats them and stuff. And so, <laughs> and so uh, but they were able, they they eventually be- become able to evolve technology, and so they create these nano suits. That uh, so each suit has the has one of, has a power of one of the uh, or emulates the power of one of the twelve Olympians. Okay. And so mm. so we got the Knights of Olympus using these new suits, 
to try to take back the world from the from their new plant and animal uh or their, their evolved plant and animal uh slavers now and so so that i i was thinking more attack like that was more attack on titan inspired real dark uh <laughs> like, you know, I, I know i dig the premise i yeah. dig it yeah, yeah. <laughs> the premise is good yeah yeah uh, and so yeah. I got that, and then so that's the, all. That's the manga side, and mm-hmm. then actually I have I have a few. I have four, no three or four, no four writers. I have four writers who are writing. Uh, so I I created six like superhero characters, so traditional Western comics, mm-hmm. uh, and I'm I wrote two of them, and then I gave the other ones to some some of the other right. So some of the other black like the creators that I've uh, came. In, just came across and mm-hmm. while I was, you know, building Dark Moon. Uh and so so we I mean we got uh Michael is half human, half archangel. Uh I got a, a super soldier who who can activate one hundred percent of his muscle fiber. Uh mm-hmm. and, and so so we got we got all <laughs> we got all of these uh, all of these other like heroes that's in this more traditional more traditional uh western comic so it, it, dark moon turned into it, it went from like yo can i write comics and i just tried to do it to mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. i don't wrote I, I got three story three different stories multiple issues on uh on a few of them uh i wrote a 60 pager for for michael and now we write a team book uh and mm-hmm. so so yeah it's it it, it grew into a whole thing I, I'm, I'm looking. I'm it. looking at the site myself, and I'm just like, yeah, I really did. And it turns out I was following you guys on Dark Moon. <laughs> I was, that's what's up. That's yeah, I was like, I, oh, I, I was I, following them guys. Yeah, because I did see the promo for Michael. I'm like, okay, because I, I mean, I do see the, I see the comics and I see the manga, and I'm like, I like the the different directions and artwork. Because I said some artwork is kind of early, kind of Shonen Jump, kind of. Um, Kind of some Studio Ghibli a little bit, but I mean it's flawless. Don't get me wrong. I I yeah. I, I started to kind of add stuff to the cart. That's what I was like. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of started to add stuff. Go ahead, like, bro. Oh. I got it all over here. You put it in the cart. <laughs> I ship it out tomorrow. <laughs> See, I'm look, I'm looking at it, and then I mm-hmm. notice you have one where you can get yourself drawn as a character, and I'm like, I already have an avatar. Like this on me. Like this is my avatar right there. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, can I get him drawn in that style? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, you can. I, I got, I got a. What am I at? Like three, about three different artists that I work with. Uh, but the so that main, that the the art style that you see for the uh, uh, the traditional hero, so Michael mm-hmm. and all of them. Yeah. That, that's mm-hmm. that's that. I've switched to that being the primary art style uh across the board so even even the so black spartans is now in that art mm-hmm. so black spartans chapter four will be in that art style mm. i am digging because i was just looking at the promo too i the, the trailer mm-hmm. for it and like this is some great looking stuff and like if you guys aren't even following blur tv which you need to uh you need to be following dark moon comics as well so you know get a two for one uh <laughs> so i like I like where this is at. I like the platform for Blur TV. And what is your steps for what made you want to create Blur TV? Yeah, I mean, literally just like so the the journey that I went on in in Dark Moon of Mm -hmm. like, you know, I I want to do this. Uh, I wanted to get to animation. And then when you talk to all like all the other dudes in like anybody. In uh, indie comics, the goal is to get to animation, mm-hmm. uh, and <clears throat> you really learn. Like when you get into it, you really learn that it is a community. You know, uh, my my last Kickstarter, before I launched it, I, I reached out to uh, so Lonzo at Concrete, Wingless, uh, David Crownson, uh, Tyler from from Godhood, it all, all of them. Mm-hmm. And I said, "Yo, look, look at my Kickstarter. Help, like, give me pointers. Help me make it better." And like, like that, they they were all they was all on it. Uh, mm-hmm. like it's it's a it's a community, uh, and and so if I if I really I know if I really want to be successful, uh, 
instead of trying to elevate myself, I, I have been thinking of how can I create something that elevates all of us together? Because mm. you know, like me being me being six, Dark Moon becoming you know a whole nother Marvel comics is like that's good, mm-hmm. uh, but as a consumer, what you really want is like you want unique stories from all over and all around. Um, and so I just I I thought Blur TV would be a way to to really elevate everybody at the same time, mm-hmm. knowing that while like if I'm elevating everybody, then like I am also going to be it, like benefiting from that it, extremely. Mm-hmm. And so <laughs> you know part it, part altruistic, but also part just smart good business. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you mentioned you mentioned live action. You had you know yeah. working on some live action projects. Yeah. Uh, where do you so see we got those? some live action on there right now. So mm-hmm. uh, Open Gate Studios. So if you go to our YouTube, Open Gate Studios. Uh, so Jonathan Armour is he he's he a dope writer, uh, visual effects director, all of that. Uh, so he created a movie called Sisters. And so if you go on there, it's 30 minutes long of like fully edited, like all black live action superhero powers, all all of that. This is what, see, (laughs) yeah, yeah, I knew Will seen it. He seen it before I did. Uh, Cinematic Saturday, do you want to ask him something? Uh, Yeah, brother, when do you sleep? Um, well, I was going to ask that question, but as a person that that gets little sleep, I figured, you know, why ask something you already know the answer to? But yeah, <laughs> uh, hey, I sleep oh, at night. Wow. Uh, you know, I do. I still sleep. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, so you got the the comic publishing, the the YouTube trying to launch an app. Is it, do, do, do you play piano or something secretly? Like, what, just, <laughs> what's the uh, thing you do to just relax? Man, I watch anime. So, <laughs> for real, I, I watch anime and I play video games, and I, so which is why this is the the. I mean, that's the perfect thing for me to do. Like, yeah. I need I needed to play. Uh, it was funny because, like, me working was oh I need to go play Elden Ring so I can stream it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I can't, I can't. Poor tortured souls. Just <laughs> know, right? hey, look, Elden Ring. Elden Ring is a lifestyle. You you accepted yeah. you've accepted everything that comes along with that journey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but but you know, the funny thing, my day job. So, mm-hmm. uh, I created it. I created that too. So I I am the CEO of a nonprofit here in Kansas City that gives grants to black owned businesses in nice. historically redlined areas. Uh, it's a two million. So we're we're a two million dollar a year nonprofit. Uh, like I'm our primary fundraiser, and, and so so I, I we have seven employees now, mm-hmm. uh, it, which sounds like I can just take off and do whatever I want, but it, it's a like it's a big ship, and I gotta like it. I need to be pre- need to be present. So it's it's actually the biggest thing that I do, even mm-hmm. you know obviously more so than Blur TV or Dark Moon Comics. Uh, before you before you go on, I gotta give you this. I gotta give you this. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sitting here letting sisters play on my because I got multiple monitors, so I have sisters playing on the far end. Re- reason why my mouth is dropping is I'm like, yeah, you are. I a want. I all fan. I want to. I want to well, show. I, I didn't make sure. I ain't have nothing to do with sisters other uh, than like I can't take no credit. It's, so it's dope. It's great. I uh, want to show that trailer. I want to show this trailer. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. so so Open Gate Studios when we mm-hmm. launched Blur TV. Uh, mm-hmm. he, Jonathan Armour reached out to me and was like, hey, you know, I, I would love to partner any way we can. I asked him what he had. He showed me sisters. I was like, cool, send me the files. We'll we'll get it on, we'll get it on the channel. And so we actually wow. I, we're gonna do a, we're gonna be doing a whole lot more with uh Open Gate to get some of their live action on uh on the channel. Open Gate is also working with concrete, and mm-hmm. so you're gonna see mm-hmm. a partnership between Open Gate, Concrete, and Blurry about. TV. Open, let, me, let me talk to Open, open Gate, see if I can get them on the on, on Yeah, because the special I, effects are really well done. That's how I, I'm gonna show this trailer. Yeah, go ahead. Well, for, for, for sisters, because this thing looks balls to the wall crazy. Like mm-hmm. I I'm digging it. 
<laughs> I am so taking it. Anytime I can see something different in it and it has us, yeah, I, I'm all for it. So here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. I never knew my mother, nor did any of my brothers for that matter. You see, we only had stories to go by from what our sensei would tell us from time to time. <laughs> Buddy, one thing he always made clear is that each one of our mothers were fighters to the very end. <laughs> Approach with caution. This guy is strong. Have you got this? You think that was enough? You mortals know nothing of peace. All you know is power, greed, lust, and hate. I'll never forgive you for what you've done. Your rule would be that of an overlord. The people would not thrive. You say that like it's a bad thing. I want you to beg for your life. You too look like you needed some help. help! But with all of us together, there's no way you can win. This is today! Mm-mm. I dig it. That final scene, man. <laughs> yeah, just the just the anime. I was like, I was like, man, someone really, really took the heart, fight choreography and anime related, and put the special effects into place. I was like, okay, I can I can dig this. I can get behind this. So Brandon Till open gate, I'll be reaching out to him. Uh <laughs> I, I, we'll we'll do. I I will connect y'all in, in a uh in a little what a uh, Facebook messenger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm off with this. Just, yeah, yeah. He, he, he doing some good stuff. We, I got chills. I'm sorry. I was like, because I just uh, like seeing original content from <laughs> PLC Creatives. I just love yeah. that stuff, you know. So to see something like that, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I just saw something. Just like that. That's that's the kind of stuff that I'm I'm trying to. So then I'm trying to have us play What's out wrong, on a regular What's basis. Up? Okay, Will. No, no, no Brandon. I'm not, Brandon. I'm not laughing at you. I, I have to apologize. I'm not laughing at you because I was going through the list and I just saw something that caught my eye where it was like, Blur Basics, episode number two, the most useless ninja in the Leaf Village. I was Kiba. Like, <laughs> Kiba. It's Kiba. <laughs> most useless ninja in the Leaf Village. So I, I'm, I'm on there. I'm on that episode arguing. Mm -hmm. that it is Kiba. Kiba is the most useless ninja in the Leaf Village. The, the title just got me. The title was like, I was like, okay, cool. I was like, most useless ninja in the Leaf Village. I had, I was like, yeah, he's gonna say Kiba or he's gonna say, <laughs> I said, like, Kiba was number Kiba was number two. But I was like, if he said Kiba, he'd be right. Yeah, it's Kiba. Oh my oh, god, man. And so, it, it don't get talked like uh, Sakura, get, she gets a lot of flag. It don't get talked about enough. Like, it, if you ask anybody and they sit and they really think about it, everybody say Kiba. Yeah, it 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 just is. <laughs> you said we trade them. We don't on purpose. That's a joke. Dang. Oh my god! So and this is this is what I enjoy. I I do this because I enjoy seeing original content. You know, yes, I'm a big Marvel head. Yes, I love DC characters and I love Batman. But when I see stuff from from our people, you know, just original. Mm -hmm. Original Black Sands Entertainment, you know, Concrete Comics, Greg Burnham, and all these guys. Now you got uh, 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 Godhood Comics, Dark Moon Comics, Midnight yeah. Comics. We just got through talking with them, so it's like it, it keeps going on. You know, Wingless because Malachi's been on on the show a couple times. So Malachi Bailey, shout out to Malachi. You know, these yeah. they have original characters with and original that, and that, stories. So that that like going back to what caused me to create Blur TV. Uh, so the deeper I got into Dark Moon, I, mm -hmm. like, you know, I back other people's Kickstarters. And so, uh, like, there's Legend Comics. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a ton of uh, freestyle comics. Mm -hmm. um, like, they, and, and when I'm, I'm sitting there reading these books, and I'm like, oh, man, this, this is dope. Like, and, and so, but at, at the same time, there's this huge 
like uh the the pub the general public at large they don't know about all of these little you know black black creators right. uh mm-hmm. and so there's this large like cry for authentic black characters but we go into marvel and go into dc and be like yo, yo we need yo, we need them to do you know authentic black characters we need them mm-hmm. Just to right. like better represent black characters when we really don't like they can continue to do what they do what the thing that people are asking for already exists it's just you know on a large scale each one of us is too small to notice right but yeah mm-hmm. with blur tv that that could change the whole thing if this is a the place if blur tv is big enough and this is the place where everybody is then you know nobody nobody is any longer too small to be noticed uh but I do like the fact that you are wanting to do the one thing that I love to see a lot of black creators do variety, variety and connect working because you're only, as, you're only as strong as those around you in the same boat in the same industry are going to be willing to work with you. And that I think is, is going to wind up being the biggest strength among all of you. Cause I, like I said, I, I talk a lot of spit and I do my own and I'm of course with Chris and Will and Kira on this and, but like in your case, what you're doing is literally almost the beginning of of your CU, if you will, of your of, of Dark Moon and Blur TV. So, but it's like the fact that you sat there and said that I want to. It's like I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to hold the door. I'm just trying to make an easier path for those to come along and do the same thing I'm doing and tell different stories. I like that mentality because that's what that's what I think is going to be the big difference as far as uh collaborations and things of that nature go is that you have to be willing to work with others it's not about it's not about one one entity if you will actually making it but if we all can make it in that sense but no i just i just like the fact that you have that mentality and just you know the way you're scaling it and i'm like it it's and plus black spartans i'm sorry the name just sticks with me I'm like, <laughs> yeah. i gotta think of a different name because me and this man to my left and right have the same name i'm like i'm not trying to trademark it but i was like i gotta think of something different Black <laughs> you it was it was the, you said if it wasn't on the comic already, I would have used it. Wasn't, <laughs> if it wasn't already hey, on the hey, comic. No, 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 right. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Put you use it, use it, and then when people ask you where you got it from, <laughs> <laughs> so it works. It works. Everybody, everybody eats. It's funny you should ask me where you I got this name. This is from me. <laughs> like I said, it's funny where I got this name from. And plus, you can go. Plus, you can go to Blur TV because they got this nice. They have this nice uh, movie called Sisters. If you like anime, if you like, um, oh shoot, if you just like all the above when it comes to anime, you're gonna like that movie. So you're right, free plug. Now I gotta yep. find Spartan yep. Helmet. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yep. What's up, man? We we are actually literally what? Mm. So next Friday, mm-hmm. uh, like uh, we we have a we have a small production studio here, uh, where where we can shoot some live action too. Mm-hmm. And so next mm-hmm. Friday we're shooting a, a, a pilot. For uh, my roommate is a demon hunter. So, <laughs> be on the lookout for that. I need that as an anime now. My roommate <laughs> is a demon yeah. hunter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Be, 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 on, be on the lookout. Be on the lookout for that. So I wrote it. We'll uh, we will we'll be shooting it. We'll, we'll be shooting it next uh, next Friday. I actually mm-hmm. already talked to Open Gate Studios uh, about. You know the the visual effects and special effects. So Sorry, it's, it's just a dope concept. It just it's a con, it's a dope concept. <laughs> yep. yep. And you, I mean, you, you can a you completely man. understand what it's about already. <laughs> you completely understand. <laughs> no, that's cool. I dig that, man. So you're you're pre- you're pushing on. You like like Will said, you're not holding the door open. You're just creating the path. And I'm one of the I'm one of the camp of blurs that says there's room at the table for everybody it doesn't have to be one particular platform where everybody kind of funnels in because you know you're just funneling into one platform that means once again you're creating another issue where right. not everybody gets seen mm-hmm. yeah. in the case of blurred and powerful hidden urgent charge you know blurred or uh blurred corn speaks do you speak mm-hmm. geek you know blurs eye view you know mm-hmm. where you know we are creating these avenues to say, hey, if you couldn't get over there for whatever reason, you can come over here. It mm-hmm. ain't no shade. It's like because we all 
correlate somewhere <laughs> with each other with something on something, you know. So seeing something like this and understanding because you you spoke it so well, you said it right there. Like I'm not holding the door open, I'm just creating the path, mm-hmm. you know. That couldn't be any more truer for what it's what it's built for, you know. It's like, hey, you got a project. You want to join up? Yep. <laughs> you, you got you got to treat like the invitation song at every Baptist church. The song has been sung. <laughs> the song has been sung. <laughs> you like the to join the church? The, the water the water is warm. We don't bring cold water in this church. We actually have heat in this church. <laughs> we, have to, we have heated water in the Baptist. Walk down the aisle. One of our parishioners will walk you down the aisle. <laughs> If you're scared, that's okay. You know, you can come matter, after matter the service fact, and come on. I'm, I'm gonna shut up. It'll be like, matter of fact, if you don't want to come, just come after the service where it can just be two people. It's fine. It's, right. it's fine. <laughs> come walk down. <laughs> Cinematic is just like, it is, you know, that's just how it is. <laughs> yep. Jesus can see you. Exactly. <laughs> Jesus oh, you, can see you. Yeah, no, yeah. He yeah. knows my heart. <laughs> he of course. My- he knows what's going on. I'm like, don't yeah. you, Jesus? Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's always watching. <laughs> and then again, you know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> Take it as you will. Uh, <laughs> so you have sisters. You're working with Open Gate Studios. Mm-hmm. You're creating this new <laughs> new live action. My de- my roommate is a demon hunter, which is mm-hmm. <laughs> I would watch that live. I would watch that as an anime. <laughs> I'm watching this one, it just sounds good. Yeah. Um, you already have some some animations going on. Mm-hmm. You have the comics. What what's next? Uh, well, I mean, we also got we we got the game and stuff on there, uh, and so. So like you know, obviously, uh, I, I started streaming Elden Ring. Mm-hmm. Uh, either me or somebody else will be. We'll have somebody streaming. Um, I do respect the, the warrior class. You said what? I do respect the warrior class. Whoever oh, yeah. was playing, I respect the warrior class. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I uh, I, mean, I I I did a. My latest one was a. a I did a wretch run. Oh. So, so just the start with no armor in the club. Honestly, it's it's pretty easy, like mm-hmm. to to start as a wretch. Like, because I, I, my first one when I started as a warrior, second one mm-hmm. I started as a wretch. What gotcha. really different? Oh yeah, because you just uh, you're yeah you but you probably got dodging. I died so many times because the dodging. <laughs> I just, I just sit there and just took the hit. I said, you know what? We just go. We just see a battle who can fill who can refill first. Yeah. So, well, so you so mentioned. I'm, 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 like no, so I played like, so one, two, mm-hmm. three, uh, uh, Bloodborne, mm-hmm. uh, Sekiro, Neo one, Neo two. Uh, right. So like this, this is uh, this is my genre. <laughs> so I can already is. tell you probably. So you're yeah, probably he's, he's on, in it. He's in it. You're yeah. probably waiting on Wu Long and Black Myth this way. Yeah, I am. I am. Mm-hmm. And so I, I was literally about to say. After we so after we stream uh, Hogwarts Legacy, we're mm-hmm. gonna be streaming Wu Long. Uh, nice. Black Myth. So, I mean, I'm, well, I've been we've been waiting on Black Myth for, for forever. Yeah. Uh, but but get away. We got gaming <laughs> stuff on there. Okay. <laughs> that was the question. What's next? We got gaming. Yeah. We got gaming content on there. Uh, and then you know, just like you know, uh, Will, like he was talking about, we got the we got those anime debate shows. Uh, mm-hmm. And so I think our like. That was the second top. The most useless ninja was the second topic. First topic was was Aaron wrong? No, uh, sorry. We just talked about that the other sorry. day. I, that, that, sorry, sorry, that was a, about that the other day. We just said the same thing. Like that was the first no, response. No, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was wrong at all. Not. Absolutely not. It, like uh, we just didn't realize this happened, is bad. You, bad. you mm-hmm. know, full on genocide is bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I still, I still wouldn't say Aaron. But was it genocide? What wrong? Yeah, I mean, he, by it and Chloe. <laughs> yeah. he, he, just, he just had a solution. The solution was a tad bit extreme. But yeah. was he wrong? So, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you got to cut somebody out to get their attention. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But w- when we launched the app, when we launched the app, 
Uh, mm-hmm. We actually we will be buying other content, so there there will be a <laughs> there'll be other animated content on there that's not produced by us. Uh, mm-hmm. There'll be some other live action stuff on there that's not produced by us. Uh, we we will you know be really uh, aware of these indie film festivals uh, to uh, especially like the black film festivals mm-hmm. looking for stuff. Mm-hmm. That that way we're we're uh, you know it it won't just it won't all be just you know anime and live action you know we we want to have uh just like other shows by black creators that mm-hmm. I mean it might be, it might be dramas on there you know and and, uh, and and stuff 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 like that. This is what I like you you get in the. I like the master plan. I like yeah. I like the running a full fledged TV station. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. <laughs> so when, TV when, when I say we're trying to rival Netflix, I actually mean it. We actually we are trying to rival Netflix. So, I like the fact just you know just to hear and I, and this is again me being picky, but again it's Black History Month. I don't give a crap to actually hear the to really hear the birth of a network because that's sound and correct me if I'm wrong on this, Brandon. That sounds like that's the end game. The end game yeah. is to basically be the network and not too many on um, two fingers that we can count that a black person owns a network, yeah. specifically one yeah. that's specifically one that's directed toward comics, mangas, anime, video games. And like you said, you're going to be going branching out in different avenues, but the end game is the network. And that's why I'm like, I like that because again, it's a solid. It's a solid plan. It's a solid idea. At the same time, it's just the fact that at the end of it all, it's it's something that's going to stand. So, yeah. so I, I yeah. give you good. I give you props. And like, I, I think last year I heard I saw something like Netflix where they were producing like ten or twenty original anime. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And because they're like the the blurred community is just. The year over year is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Our mm-hmm. voice is getting louder and louder. Uh, eventually, like it's going. Eventually, Netflix or whoever is going to realize, like, oh shit, there's a whole, there's a whole mm-hmm. stack of money just sitting over there. <laughs> That's all they're going to see is the money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's money. For real. They they see like, the all money. we got to do, if we we just create some anime, make all the characters black. Boom, whole stack of money. Like black black anime will be a, a subgenre. Mm-hmm, uh, yeah. And and so if nobody does it, if we don't hop in and and uh you know launch the channel and, and, and do it ourselves, five, ten years from now, uh they yeah, will they will I do mean, it. They, it's, I mean, perfect it. Exa- I mean, perfect example is like when well, what is Spike TV called now? Paramount? Uh, it's called about five different names. Yeah, <laughs> about well, at the time names, it was at the time it was Spike yeah. TV, and when they premiered Afro Samurai, all they said was Black Samurai, voiced by Samuel L. Jackson, and it's anime. <laughs> yep. You just right. knocked down three tiers already, and they were just mm-hmm. like, I'm in. <laughs> like, if That's you weren't an anime fan, the fact that it's a cartoon, you're just like, I'll check it out. <clears throat> like, but it's voiced by Samuel Jackson. I'm like, I'll definitely check it out. <laughs> so, and also, but also the soundtrack was he by barely talks. He, he barely talks. Barely talks. <laughs> and then the soundtrack is made by by RZA. And RZA. Like, well, you know, you just hitting out. You hitting all the notes right now. So it's just like, let's but, go, let's go. But Brandon does. But Brandon does bring up a point though, because if 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 we don't do it, those types of animes will always be done as great as they are, but they won't be owned by us. I mean, look at the Boondocks. Boondocks. The Boondocks is the greatest example of a black anime that we all know and love, and we have recited probably more than one line from this show. Santa, but at the same bitch. time, <laughs> it's not owned by us or Black Dynamite. Again, for its nice little two season run, was still a great black anime. You it wasn't owned by us. Dynamite. Once again, shout out to Martian Blueberry, uh, yeah. Carl Jones, and Love Barnett. <laughs> I was like, shout out to them. <laughs> But that's but I mean but but Brent does have a point on that like you know Netflix Netflix Funimation Crunchyroll uh well I'm sorry that Crunchyroll got Crunchyroll Funimation became one so really yeah. it's just Crunchyroll now but Jaka Lost in Rome shout out yeah. to J One Studios they so, will all come looking and he's exactly he's a, I completely agree with that that those places will come looking because as as Chris so eloquently put it 
they don't see fans of black anime and manga. They see piles and piles of money. And how can they get a hold of it? I'd rather, I would rather them come to you and Blur TV and actually work out a deal with you guys and say, hey, you know, for this amount, for this amount of money, we're willing to pay y'all for us to stream your content and you get a, you know, get a back piece on the recipitals. Cool. But at the end of the day, you still own it yeah. versus, you know, just selling it or going straight there or letting them create the content where they right. own. Because it's it's like this with comics. It's like that yeah. with comics. You said it. You can create a character, mm -hmm. and then, or you can go to Marvel or DC and say, "Hey, you have Luke Cage. You have Monica Rambeau. You have all these. You have Misty Knight. You have these black characters. You got Sam Wilson. You have all these black characters, mm -hmm. and yet we want you to put them up front more. We need mm -hmm. you to put Victor Stone up more. We need you to put Vixen up more. I can't tell you how many times I've heard Vixen come up just this week alone. You know, and and here is." You, you, they fall to the wayside for one re yeah. one reason or another. They they don't know how to tell the story. They know how to, at least with Marvel, at icon. least they keep it. Yeah, icon, I, I, icon, well, icon, Lord, icon, and icon and Rocky. Yeah, you know the whole Dakota verse. <laughs> you know, which so, is a treasure trove in itself. But yeah, at the same it's like, time, it's like there. Said. Yeah, like, it, it's there. And the fact that you know, with the I, I say with the exception of the Dakota verse, because they seem to kind of rein that in and say hey this is ours over at milestone you will not take this away from us again you know so but other than that yeah just putting them out there and saying there's stories that you can tell just mm -hmm. tell them you know and not pull them around yep naomi naomi was another one yeah you they know. Didn't know how to write it and they that's know how cw yeah. fumbled it right and so when you drop that ball like that so you, you you're like oh nobody you have certain factions saying, oh, those characters, nobody cares about those characters. Nobody cares about those characters because they don't see them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here, here, here you have a situation where you're creating an avenue where not only not just those characters, but these new characters can be seen. And these new mm -hmm. characters with these original stories and backgrounds and different power sets. The fact that you described one character who can operate or access one hundred percent of his muscle is you don't I've never heard that you know? it's not a new a power that's never been a never been used before and again that goes back to variety right back to variety I mean we all seen power subsets where you know they might involve the body and the mind outside force things of that nature but original idea a, yeah, a person like, a person the, 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 wait, 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 go ahead. Well, the the so the his uh like nemesis will be mm -hmm. somebody who can activate you know a greater like a greater percentage of their brain, mm -hmm. uh, and, and so, which which will make for some you know unique and, and, and interesting kind of uh, fight mm -hmm. interactions. It's damn near Clark and Lex. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, damn near Clark and Lex. <laughs> yeah. I mean, possible forces, possible <laughs> yes. <laughs> if the person with the intellect has to be has to be a dick. He had, he had, you know generally I, are. I, I, hope, uh, I, hope, I hope the way he's written, he's supposed to, he's just very, he is a very cynical person just to mess with the other person, just to mess with the, pro, with the protagonist. <laughs> Which, if I see, did you want to add some uh, cinematic sass? Yeah, I was going to ask. Um, uh, I know you are in the process maybe of, of collecting these different um stories and content from different creators. Are you presently in a position where, um, I don't know, people can pitch to you? It's like, hey, I have an idea for a comic or I have an idea for a short or a short animation or something. And they can come to you like, hey, here's my idea. Unfortunately, I don't know any animators or I don't own any cameras or something. And like you help them birth this baby. Yeah, that's a good question. So, no, we, we're, we're, we're not because... Uh, you you can you can I get messages every day of like, yo, turn my comic into an anime. Like, I ain't got that kind of money. Uh, I don't know you. You, know? Um, you get you get the Jay Z treatment. You get the you get the, you get the Jay Z treatment. Basically, you like he's like, look, man, I got a comic. It's hot. It's hot fire right now. And you know, you just if you just put it out there, I guarantee it's gonna sell. That that's all you got. Your yeah. your comics yeah. on fire. <laughs> Yeah. So, so now, uh, uh, and we, 
I mean, d- despite, you know, we're, we're good platform, growing platform. We ain't making no money right now. Mm-hmm. Like, every, like we, we don't, we putting out everything for free. Mm-hmm. And, so, uh, and so, and so, the, you know, once we fully launch, we uh, I want to be in the position where people can come uh, and, and pitch to us. But just business wise, mm-hmm. uh, it's not smart. You know, so, I mean, we, we I, I run an organization that gives out, you know, ten thousand to fifty thousand dollars to businesses every mm-hmm. month. Uh, and we get people to come to us like, oh, yeah, I got a great business idea. I was like, that's great. I don't really care about that. Go do it and then come back to me. <laughs> uh, like, you, you, got, you got to have something. Yeah, uh, right. you, you, just can't walk, you just can't walk up and just not have nothing, right? No, right, right. no. Uh, the, the businesses we give grants to are businesses who are, like, who've all, who are already doing the thing and, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, or, and that are out there trying to make it happen. Uh, and so we would likely be, so even when we reach that point and we do get money, I'm much more likely to go to wingless and say, yo, I know y'all got stuff out here. Y'all, y'all doing like, you got proof of concept, people buying your stuff, people love your stuff, mm-hmm. uh, versus somebody that's like, yo, I just got this idea for this thing. Uh, because I got, I got a lot of people, dreams, coach. What if like a hustle and flow? What if like a hustle and flow moment? I got this beat in my head. I can't <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to make it work. <laughs> yeah. And so, I mean, like, uh, oh I, had, my God. I, I had no, I didn't have a background in creative writing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just, I, you know, I, I, I watched some videos, read some books. I, I spent about a year, like, Mm-hmm. learning how to write before I dove in and did it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, I, you know, I did. So I just, it, when, when people come to us and submit stuff to us, uh, I, like they will need to be somewhere in the process uh, and show that they can follow through on a... On a so, yeah, I get that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get that. You want to make yeah. sure it's like, do the work. Simply put, it's like you can't, you can't come up with an idea actually put some effort into it. I can respect that. I mean, you just can't, I mean, it's, it's not the lottery. You just can't walk up with a ticket, you know, buy a ticket and, you know, quit your job the next day. You got to yeah. have, have some. However, you <laughs> uh, no, let me, let me rephrase that. Do not you quit hit the power ball before you the lottery could. numbers actually show up. Okay. That's that. Yeah, that's different. That's different. I now you, now, now you can, you know, you now hit that power ball. If you hit the power ball this weekend, you know, yeah, yeah, after, give after, it a couple weeks. If you hit the power ball this weekend, um, please don't dip. You're going to be, they're going to find you out immediately. Yeah. <laughs> don't <laughs> dip. Don't call out. Matter of fact, be on time wherever you're going. You want to be above suspicion. <laughs> <laughs> they said somebody from Cleveland got it. I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Let's go ahead and do this show right quick. <laughs> Yeah, we but so we do have a we do currently have a submission process mm-hmm. for uh for people that have like finished products uh or finished projects. So uh like if if you go on if you go on the blurry TV, mm-hmm. you can see Black Spartans number one, two, and three are already up as motion comics. Uh, super like they they not they not. Super high quality. Like I, I'm, I made them myself. Turned them in motion comics myself. Uh, mm-hmm. Learned a little bit of video editing. Boom, did it. And so, if if somebody has a motion comic that's already done, they want to submit that to us. We would throw it on the channel. Uh, yeah. Sisters was. I mean, like we struck gold because I did nothing other than exist, and he came up and was like, "Yo," <laughs> <laughs> and so cool. We put that on the channel. We there's another one that. Uh, has been submitted to us. I responded to them, and we so we just haven't we haven't uh solidified it yet. But it's I mean it's it's kind of like Avatar: The Last Airbender, but mm-hmm. live action and and, and good like really really. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so that's an important as caveat. As, yeah. <laughs> yeah. As, soon, as soon as we get to go ahead from them, uh, we're gonna throw that on on the channel too. So it'll be a, it's a whole nother live action thing. But, I, I but, love how <laughs> it's got to be good. You know? I love how he said like like Avatar like 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 the hair last airbender, but good. I love, I love <laughs> you. Got to put that distinction. I give him that. It's like yeah. it's like Avatar last airbender, but it ain't that one. Just so yeah. you know, yeah. the one that starts with an M followed by the opposite of day that ain't it. So just so you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> just so you know, that's not the one we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, it, 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 honestly, it, it puts the movie in a whole nother perspective because I'm like, if this random group of people can do this, how did y'all do that bad on that? <laughs> <laughs> As James Gunn said, storytelling is key. Uh, <laughs> so vital. So vital. Yeah. And and it helps tonight to not whitewash it as well. I'm just I'm putting that out there. Yeah. <laughs> storytelling is key. Casting is key. Casting is key. Directing is key. key. Oh. You would have got away with it with the kid, but everybody else. Imagine yeah. that, was, that was questionable. <laughs> but, then, but then again, they then again they try to say Gods of Egypt was accurate. Yeah, something. I think about the only thing like, I think the only thing accurate about Gods of Egypt was the God of Knowledge, and that was Chadwick Boseman. Yeah, <laughs> that I was, was about the, and he he had he had, he was knowledgeable enough to say. I only he need was, like a couple scenes because this is not. He was ba- he was the, he was like the last Valkyrian at the diner scene where everybody was drinking wine <laughs> and he wasn't. Yeah, yeah. that he was, was like, the I'm smartest not, person not, at the table. I'm not drinking with y'all. <laughs> I am not drinking with y'all. My black behind <laughs> drinking with the rest of you Targaryens. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, no. I'll sit this one out. <laughs> but no, I do. But but again, it's just like you mean even. The fact that I like the work, uh, the work, work, words are escaping me right now. So work with me. Work <laughs> ethic is what words I'm looking for. Um, the fact, Brandon, that you just have this work ethic, like, okay, I don't know it, but you take that extra step. You you try to find, you try to find literature. You try to find guidance. Try to find books. You try you study the craft, and that's the one thing I I really respect about you. It's not like. I, yeah, you you can easily go out there and try and try and write and see how it goes, but you really wanted to get everything you could, um, tactile you could get as far as books, things of that nature go, and then you wanted to try it, and then from there you just kept going with it. And I I love hearing stories like that because that tells me that it's not just an idea that you got behind it; you got passion behind it too, yeah. and you have a drive behind it, and that kind of thing is infectious because. Uh, because with you, I mean, present company all included here, we're all the same way. It's like <laughs> you, you, you can tell where the drive is, you can tell where the passion is. You can, you know, with those two things, a goal and a purpose are bound to follow. So, um, aside from that, I mean, you, it's you got the right idea as far as this. And like I said, may I be the person that could sit there and be on uh, after they were famous and sit there and say, Yeah, I told, I told Netflix to call him. <laughs> I told them what to call him. <laughs> I told but him no. get off their behind and do what they supposed to. But see, <laughs> Will's right. Real Will is right. When you say, and it's, it's amazing because you say you started in 2020, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and this is when I started the show was in 2020, and it seems like 2020 and 2021 was truly mm-hmm. our awakening. Yeah, you know. Yeah. They, we, 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 December 21st we started, rolled around here and we, we really did get access. <laughs> it was a blurred, it was a it was a blurred up. I can't say blurred uprising. Uprising. Oh no, like it was a blurred uprising. It was a blurred <laughs> uprising. <laughs> Miss Rona had your ass in the house. Sit down. And do but, something but you know, constructive. We, but what is it? But I always there say, say what say what it is about our people, but if we in a space long enough, we will be creative about something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and I think that's shows. what that was. That was a true mm-hmm. awakening because ever since starting the show, mm-hmm. I have seen and been introduced to more blurred creatives mm-hmm. and realizing, wow, I didn't know it was that many black indie comic artists. Yeah. I need to see them. I need to talk to these people. I need to see what's going on with these people. I need to, I I'm glad I caught up with Greg Burnham and Blur kind of got that Tuskegee ears. I I, I needed that. You know, we have. I got another book, uh, the, uh, Guardians of the Homie. You know, where they talk about the, the descendants of the 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 Homie tribes. I need to see that, yeah, because nobody else are telling. Nobody else is telling our stories. Yeah, seeing uh, Black Sands Entertainment get that major deal. Yeah, it was like the win for mm. for the blurred space because it was just like they've been out here grinding. Mm-hmm. Day in, day out, and they got noticed, you know, and they got noticed by somebody like that looks like us. Right. <laughs> and said, look, yeah. look, he was like, look, 
I got what you need. Mm -hmm. Just bring it over. You know, so this is something you're doing. You was like, I got what you need. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Just bring it over. Yeah. And to say that it's not that many out there, it really is. They're 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 growing. Will said it earlier. The blur Mm -hmm. space is it's growing in Mm -hmm. at an alarming rate. It's a you celebration. Know, it is. I, I went, I it's, went it's, a cele- it's a celebration, Charlie. Well, literally, literally uh, HNIC, they doing the they doing the cage the cage awards. It's yes, literally sir. congratulations <laughs> on the partnership for that, by the way. You so know, what? I say congratulations on that partnership with them on that, by the yep. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Kurt, me and Kurt. <laughs> those are the cousins, those are the cousins in Philly. Uh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, uh when you see enough activity when you see enough push when you see enough drive and passion you know and you see an original content because let's face it yes we do love these characters that we get in the movie theaters or at the comic book stores but at the same time we love what comes from us even more yeah mm-hmm. when you see i mean here, prime example the fact that black panther came out just a few years ago Mm-hmm. And you've seen the wave that created. So whether you were a fan of the comic and a character, or whether you've seen a black man and the in the African diaspora being displaced, and the fact that they had this all this stuff going on, mm-hmm. it was enough to draw everybody in that was in our camp and say, "I need more of this. Where can I find it? Where can I get this at?" Who, and then that's when you start getting noticed. That's when, like, well, you know, you got this indie artist over here. You got Freestyle Comics over here. You got because Concrete I'll... over here. You got Wingless over here. You got all these different comics, comic artists and comic writers. You have all these people who's doing the live action stuff. You have J1 Studios who's out here doing their thing. You know, you have all these people that's pushing, pushing the content. The content is there. Mm-hmm. Now, it's not even about the content anymore. It's not even about finding the content. It's getting it on a platform where it can seem be seen not just by us, but by everybody. Right. That's what that's what it is opportunity, though. Like he's like just to add on to that. I mean, Black Panther was opportunity. I mean, we knew, I mean, from an MCU standpoint, we knew they were eventually gonna go to Wakanda. We knew that it was going to be a Black Panther movie, but did we expect on that scale? Obviously not, but we're still happy with what we got. Still happy with Wakanda Forever, although it did kind of still, still kind of emotionally shake us. Um, but it did show, like you said, Chris, it was that opportunity. It was that you got to see something like that where it inspired or it really lit a fire under a lot of people and said, I could do the same thing. I could do that or I could do my idea or I could, you know, like I, I forgot the lady's name and I get it completely lose me at this point because she actually started mauling a lot of African clothing after Black Panther and she's very famous on Instagram and I cannot believe I already spaced Ooh, out her Ruth name. Carter? Uh no, it's it's gonna come to me. I'm kind of I'm brain dead at the moment, but I cannot think of her name to save my life. But she started her shopping boutique after the first Black Panther movie. Oh, and you're talking about somebody else. else. I thought you meant yes. like the okay. Not I the actual designer, like... although the designer for Black Panther, that woman should get paid more. <laughs> she ain't already getting paid. That woman should get paid a whole lot more. But uh, but no, this one, the first one I'm thinking about, which again, I should have the name because they're very popular on IG and have their own boutique and actually have their own brick and mortar store now. Uh, started African clothing after Black Panther. And so all that blew up. And then yeah, a lot of people are going, Well, we know about Black Panther, and of course, a lot of black indie, uh, a lot of black indie uh comic book writers, uh present company included. We're starting to get a little bit more shine because, you know, you see a lot of people, you know, kind of hungering for something new. And like you said, it's because it's done by us. So that was a cat. I mean, call it what it will. It was a catalyst for that. So yeah. that's why I'm like, we're at that point now where I, I truly do believe in the world of of anime, manga, comics, TV, because all the above when it comes to media is going to start turning our way. I mean, I, I would love to see this in the middle of Black History Month since y'all gave us the freaking shortest month of the year, but um, <laughs> I would love to see it around that time just because it's already heading that way. You see you see a lot more uh, Black producers, Black writers, uh, Black actors are being more put to the front lines. So 
it's only a matter of time before uh, 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 Brandon and Blur TV and countless others um, will be able to display a lot more on a on a bigger stage. The idea is opportunity. That's all it really is. Yeah. But you know, like I said, what, what Brandon's doing, Brandon is at this point his. I mean, if I mean, love the idea where you're going with it, but in the end, he's a, he's a he's a open door of opportunity to those that have been prepared to take it to you know take that opportunity and run with it. So, I would love to see more of that. I mean, I know Brandon, you've already got. I mean, trust me, I'm not trying to add, critique, or do nothing. I just want to be able to sit there and be able to take the Black Spartan thing and go with it. That's just me. <laughs> That's all I want to do. I just want to run with that. But this, uh, this, this was the birth of the Black Spark. <laughs> he, has, he has given me a new name. Yeah, I what? have been I have been named. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, that's, that's wrong. That's wrong as hell. That's wrong yeah. as hell. I apologize profusely. Look, see, I can see Kira now. She's watching. She's like, every time I leave these three alone. <laughs> it is challenging. It is challenging. Look, look, cinematic assassins like, don't put that's me in that camera. <laughs> right. Will, that's that's Will, him. Will, Will's yeah. gonna be like, this is all him. Don't put me in this. This was the 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 genius you put me on the bottom with was the one that did. <laughs> Man got off a 10-minute soliloquy of uh <laughs> pomp and circumstance and praise just to be like, and can I be Black Spartan, please? <laughs> That's all I want at the end of it all. Just like yeah. Black Spartan is a name I can rock with. Oh, man. Can rock with. Yeah. So before we close this out, <laughs> first off, Brandon, I love what you're doing. Pretty I sure. love the I love this platform. Mm -hmm. I love this is why I love doing what I do. Cause I, I, I hate to toot my own horn, but I'm a villain. So do I really hate it? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like to model. I model the show after Arsenio Hall, and as if you was around to watch Arsenio Hall show, you know that he put on a lot of a black acts. Mm -hmm. You know, no one else was putting on Wu Tang Clan. No one else could get Eddie Murphy on just off the strength of their friendship. Nobody else. Off the strength of said friendship, got prints on their show. You're on first name basis. Yeah. I mean, just, it's just <laughs> first first name, first seat, and just ask the man to play three songs for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> just saying. You, you know, you don't have MC, MC Hammer came in and gave gave them not only this to show, but gave them a whole concert. You know, so mm -hmm. you, you, not everybody does that. You know, you had a whole camp of hip hop greats give you one of the best send offs mm -hmm. of any show. Off the strength of thank you, you know. So I like to be I like to be that that platform to say, hey man, come on. I see what you got. I know what you're doing. I, I wanted I want the people to see it. I want the people to know about it. Where can they find you? Yeah, man. So we are so we're on YouTube, obviously. So uh blur TV official. Uh, that that way. Dude, somebody gonna try to knock it off. <laughs> so, we blur TV official on YouTube. Uh, you can find us at Blur TV on Facebook uh, mm -hmm. and Blur TV on uh on, on on Instagram. And so one of the, I mean, really one of the other things because uh, we launched this. I launched this uh, December. 26 at like 11 56 p.m uh and but i created the pages in like october of uh 2022 mm -hmm. because i was just i i was looking around i was like man i can't believe there's no blur tv youtube channel there's no blur tv nothing so i created the pages parked them until i had time mm -hmm. uh and so we super easy to find if, if you google blur tv our youtube channel is the first thing that pops up Hmm. So, you trademark it already? Uh, in the process, it's filed. Nice. Mm -hmm. Always the key. Trademark, <laughs> trademark. Legal keep. Legal keeps everybody honest. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll take it. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody tried to come for Blur's Eye View. Well, they didn't come for it, but they tried. Mm -hmm. They they actually reached out and asked me, like, "Is that?" I'm like, "It's a thing." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we, you'll be hearing from our lawyers. 
like but they they were they they were kind enough to reach out and ask you know i'm like it's a thing don't Mm-hmm. What no sharks in the water? I guess yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they tried. Yeah. They they you know they were they were cordial, yeah. and I like I was like, I was like ah you're that type of person mm-hmm. I can I can yeah. like that can work with you. Uh, <laughs> so, but yeah, once again, Brandon, yo, dope. I'm going to be watching Sisters tonight. Uh, <laughs> yo, yeah, check it out. Share it. That it's, looks it's, amazing. It is. It's incredible. It, the the fact that it's just you know the small indie film studio that put out something like that is a is amazing. I I'm just looking through your stuff and it's like uh, best superhero team ever. You know, <laughs> I'm just like I I gotta know, you know, certain yeah. certain because certain, these are the type of conversations we have. You know, yep. we actually are do like we just started doing fan casts. Like fan mm-hmm. cast, the fan cast episodes seem to go seem to go over so well because we, you know, uh, it, it keeps things going. It gets the people talking. It's provocative. <laughs> 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 I still say the cast from Always Sunny in Philadelphia should be the Fantastic Four. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> just just for the comedy aspect alone, <laughs> boy. The love, the, the level of hilariousness that that has the potential to be. Yes, I'm telling you, seeing Frank. Oh, so Charlie man, should know. Anyway, I should start. Sorry, I just start clobbering. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charlie alone. Charlie will be Herbie the robot. Uh, <laughs> Matt, Max should be the thing. Max should be the thing. <laughs> Wait, I never thought about him that he way. He should. Max, Max doing, his, doing his kung fu moves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah. Dennis is clearly Mr. Fantastic. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and and D will be the dysfunct it will be a dysfunctional marriage between yeah. him and him and him, him and D. Which which leaves Charlie as a human torch. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Charlie would mess it up. <laughs> oh my god. It was like Charlie! <laughs> you did it again. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! Now you're making me rethink my cast. Oh, <laughs> Frank is Doctor Doom. <laughs> Good Lord! Damn. I'm going back in the vault. <laughs> We're doing a part two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man! Oh, Boy, Frank hey, is Doom. Good. That's too good. <laughs> oh my God! So, oh man! But thank you again for coming on, man. Look, like I said, you had a smoking dope platform i love what you got going on uh, but, it, so give you give this up to you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i don't know if they can hear me like that Let me put yeah, that here. okay uh yeah but you need to check him out blur tv is such a such a dope platform and it is it's a cause behind it and this is what i love about see i'm, I'm looking black creators highlight series that's yeah, mm-hmm. that was yeah, you know, they stuff like that. These moments, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Just these, are, these are just really dope moments that I'm seeing. And so, go follow them. You know, go on YouTube, Blur TV, Blur dot Blur TV official. Check them out on IG, Blur TV, and on Facebook, Blur TV. Uh dude, I'll be getting some stuff from you guys. No, no worries there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. what's up. Man. That's what's up. We, uh, and I'm 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 pretty sure you know, especially if you guys if y'all down with it, man, we probably have a whole episode of uh, Blur's Eye View on Blur TV because you know we need more I need more stuff over there. <laughs> All you got to do is put out the call. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. We'll that's, do. That's just generally, I no lie, it seems like people speak up the show and I pop up as will. <laughs> like he does the show, and it's just like people say my name. They say Chris Fury. I'm like, yeah, I, you called me. Here I, is. Here I is. Here I is. Can come? Can you come on in? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I got time. <laughs> That's what's up. Oh my god! Oh, All right. Man. Well, thank you again, Brandon. Let me get up. Let's get the team on. Uh, Will tell them where they can find you. Or I should say, <laughs> now black, 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 black Spartan. I have got to go. Fi- I have got to go find. I have got to go find a black Spartan helmet just so I could have it on here. That 
You just made, Brandon, you just made my day. Don't even realize it. I, you're it. supposed to be the guest. You made my day. I appreciate <laughs> that. Um, but yes, Black Fox 447 is where you can find me on all socials. Um, I usually give reviews of everything that I watch, that I read, that I play, um, including all video games, as I have just got a hold of Dead Space and looking forward to playing that remake all over again and scaring myself crazy at night. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> um Aside from that, I do have a couple of podcasts. Of course, uh, my uh, current news political podcast, How the Frack We Got Here, airs every Wednesday and every Saturday. And of course, uh, another one of my podcasts every Friday on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch, along with my uh, co-pilot Joe Tonello called Get Bit Podcast. You can also find that on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch by the name as well. And of course, on the Blurred's Eye View, I am the writer for all things wrestling. Why? Because wrestling is real and people are fake. Shout out to Mr. Kenny for that one, especially after the mess of World Rumble and AEW Dynamite because they can't seem to take a perfectly good black heroine like Jay Cargill and actually give her a personality. But that's okay because Jay Cargill is very easy on the eyes. Yes, she is, but they have to do something with her character and immediately so just because <laughs> it's getting stale. Um, beyond that, guys, like I said... Um, Wait, I think you did... He wants Jay Cargill to pin him. I see what no. you did there. I, you know, <laughs> see, didn't debate it. <laughs> I gotta make sure first. There are other, there are other, there are other ears. <laughs> That's what we did. I gotta make sure there was other ears for us before I answer that question. Of course, I want to. I'm not, I'm not dead. <laughs> I got a pulse. I'm not dead. Um, <laughs> But no, I just I just want her personality to be. I mean, her gimmick needs to change, and that and I, and she always does squash match. But anyway, you can hear my reviews mm -hmm. all about that on the bird's eye on the bird blurred's eye view site. If I could find words, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. um, aside from that, I just have one simple rule about following me on social media. I am a very social, very talking to person, as you can easily tell. I just have one rule: don't be a creeper. And at the same time, guys. For all those that are listening within my voice, I am rooting for all of you. I am rooting for all of you to be successful. I am rooting all of you to follow your dreams. I am rooting for you to become the person that you want to be in life. It is up to you to get there. And just know, I am rooting for you. That's it. What's up? Cinematic assassin in the building. Look, now you yes. don't have to worry about sharing your name anymore. He won! <laughs> he Tom brady me! <laughs> wow. Don't, don't you put that on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got to play now. I got to put it in there. There it is. Don't you put that on us! Right, there we go. <laughs> But yes, it is I, the Cinematic Assassin, will be watching um, film reviews, TV, TV reviews, uh, Funko Pop talk, and uh, entertainment news from a melanated man's point of view. If that's something that interests you, you can find me at Mayhem Media. That's M-A-Y-E-H-E-M Media. Um, and as I always stress, uh, mental health is important. So go ahead and take that PTO. And if no one's told you today, mm -hmm. I see you doing your best. Your best is good enough. So keep going and spread a little love along the way. There you go. Nice. Ah, guess who it is, everybody? It's the man on the wall. It's your man up north, Chris mm -hmm. Fury in the building. Thank you for tuning in. I want to thank our guest, Brandon Calloway of Blur TV. And you know what, Brandon? I am going to talk to my people, and I'm going to have them send you out a signed poster by Chuck D himself. That's what's up. You know, and get in, and, and you'll also get a, a digital code with the movie for because it's the 50, it's 50 years of hip hop, they're celebrating 50 years, so why not? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to tell her, give me one because you know, I was there in the trenches of hip hop, so <laughs> I need some of that action. Um, but uh, but yeah, once again, thank you for tuning in, everybody. Thank you for the comments, thank you for jumping in on the YouTube channel, thank you for the Twitch channel. And if it's our first time here, you can always find us here on IG. You can go to IG on uh, Facebook. It'll be Blurred's Eye View. And you'll find the link tree in the bio where it will send you to all the great places, in Q, including Facebook on the Blurred's Eye View podcast. That's the one with the big capital letters on it. It's also you find, find us on Twitch, Blurred's Eye View 1. Look, look like all of us are stumbling over our words today. And it's spreading. It's spreading. <laughs> it is. And uh, and you can also check us out 
Tuesdays and Thursdays listening to us on the Opulence Radio app. Just go to opulenceradio.com and download it completely free. And you can listen to past episodes and piss your boss off. But <laughs> until then, you can always catch us Tuesdays live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. And you can catch us Thursdays, 9 p.m. Eastern on those same channels. I want to thank our guests right here. Shout out to Brandon and his crew over there in Open Gate Studios. Concrete Comics, I'm coming for you next. Uh, <laughs> get these guys on it because I know they are busy, busy. But until then, when we see you guys next week, I want to tell everybody thank you for tuning in once again. And shout out to everybody. And remember to educate yourself and others, entertain yourself and others, and most of all, encourage yourself and others. This is Chris Fury with the crew and our special guest, Brandon Calloway of Blurdy TV. We are out of here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.